subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hello. In this video, we shall discuss the poem "The Flea," which is a metaphysical poem written by John Donne. First of all, let us have an introduction to the poem. The flea was written in the 1590s by John Donne when he was a young law student. The poem has three stanzas, and each stanza consists of nine lines. The rhyme scheme of the poem is A A B B C C D D D. It is an erotic metaphysical poem in which the poet tries to convince his beloved for sexual intercourse. In the poem, the poet argues that if the mingling of their blood in flea is not a sin, then the sexual intercourse cannot be regarded a sin as well. Let us now look at the poem. Mock, but this flea, and mock in this, how little that which thou denest to me is. Mock means notes, look, or pay attention. Denest means denied or refused to accept. Now, in these two lines, the poet tells his beloved to look at this flea and also observe how small it is, which you refused to accept. Me it sucked first, and now sucks thee, and in this flea, our two bloods mingled be. Here the word "sucked" means to take liquid by using lips. And mingle means combine it or mix it. The poet says that the insect has sucked the blood of the poet and then the blood of his blood. In this way, the two bloods are mixed together in the flea. Confess it. This cannot be said a sin or shame or loss of maidenhead. Here the word confess means to admit. Maidenhead means virginity, or a person who has never had sex. The poet wants her beloved to admit that the mingling of blood in the flea is neither a sin nor a shame nor the loss of virginity. Yet this enjoys before it woo and pampered swellers with one blood made of two, and this alas is more than we would do. Woo means seeking someone's affection. Pampered. Means comfortably. Swellers means to become bigger or round. In these lines, the poet says that the flea enjoys her blood without seeking for affection from her. The flea has become bigger and round with one blood which is made of two. Then the poet regrets that they cannot do more than that because direct consummation is not possible. Oh, stay three lives in one flea spear, where we almost nay more than married are. Three lives here refers to the life of the flea, the life of the poet, and the life of his beloved. The word nay means no. In these lines, the poet's beloved attempts to kill the flea. The poet says not to kill it. And spare the three lives, for they are only married in it. This flea is you and I, and this our marriage bed and marriage temple is. The poet says that the flea represents the poet and his beloved. It is not only the body of the flea, but also their marriage bed where the consummation took place, and marriage temple where they got married. Though parents grudge, and you, we are met, and clustered in these living walls of jet. Grudge means a feeling of anger or dislike or aversion. Clustered means protected. Walls of jet means the body of flea. The poet says that despite the aversion of their parents and his beloved's dislike. They are protected in the living body of the flea. Though you make the apt to kill me, let not to this self murder added be, and sacrilege three sinners in killing three. Apt means likely. 
sacrilege means an act of disrespecting a holy place in these lines the poet says if his beloved is likely to kill him but she should not commit suicide by killing the flea the poet suggests her by killing the flea she is violating a temple and will add three murders to her sins cruel and sudden has to those sins purple thy nail in blood of innocence sudden means sudden or fast or harsh has to do means have you in these lines the poet calls his beloved cruel and harsh as she has killed the flea and thus purpled her nails with the blood of innocent in what could this flea guilty be except in that drop which is sucked from the the poet says that his beloved has killed the flea for its one act of guilt that it sucked a drop of blood from her yet thou tremfest and sayest that thou findest not thyself nor me the weaker now the word tremfest means victorious the poet's beloved fears victorious of killing the flea she proudly says to her lover that neither she nor he or weaker of killing the flea it is true they learn how false fears be just so much honor when thou yieldest to me will waste as this flea's death took life from thee here the word yieldest means to agree to do or to surrender in these lines the poet admits what his beloved said is right and tells her how false her fears are by surrendering her virginity to him she will lose no more honor than she lost by killing the flea